Hi, this is Prios with another clip from the King's Casino. The game played is PLO and our main characters will be Tony G and Leon. Enjoy the hand. And the massive winner, Ronnie Kaiser. Darwin shouldn't enter the pot with his holding. This is to lose from his position. Swiss-based Omaha expert. I have a condom if you want. <laughs> He's a huge winner here in Kings. Tony's race is fine. Yeah, I remember the cash session in February. 500,000 euro in profit. This I cannot say no. Gus should also have stayed away pre-flop. Tony has raised it here with a suited ace king to a thousand. So Crocodile and Leon also play to lose. Leon has a set of fours. Tony continued. On the flop, Leon decides to just check call. I like putting in a race. Tony lost a lot the session and he will stay in the pot with many things. And especially clubs might kill the action. Leon also has the right image helping him to get people spew of money when he actually has a hand. Although I also don't mind his line of play. Two pair, kings and fours. And this could be a big pot, guys. Leon's going to lead out. Pretty sure Tony's going to stay around. He has kings and fours. It's at 8,000 bet. It's quickly called. On the turn, Leon decides to lead. He is not having the second nuts anymore as the straight just got there. So, his lead is a bit questionable, but maybe he thinks that his opponent is really unlikely to have the straight and he don't want to give him the chance to take a free card. And maybe he also wants to protect against flush draws. If I think about it more deeply, I like th the line he took. As Tony might easily interpre interpret this as full of shit. And Leon assures this way that Tony cannot pot control by checking behind. This also looks pretty fishy and strange. And might get him called down, li down light or even induce bluffs from a potential steaming Tony G. By Tony, onto the river. That's a full house. It's actually a good card for Tony because it counterfeits him. On the river, Leon makes a boat and decides to bet small. By the way, I am pretty sure that the display channels don't show the stack size correct. As Leon still has ships in front, but he's displayed as being all in. I don't know how much he has behind, but this is a genius play if he has some decent money behind, because by donking the turn, his hand looks a lot like a straight, and a straight can also make this small bet on the river, to extract a small amount of money. This blocking type bet might be in interpreted from Tony as a straight, which is trying to pot control, and he also so has the perfect hand to try the full house blocker bluff. As he blocks the king and the four, this makes it a lot less likely that Leon has a boat and Tony might decide to move in in order to push Leon off a straight. 
if some decent money is behind. But if I see it correct, Leon doesn't have enough money left to move him off a straight. But this is hard to guess, just seeing the chips in the clip. Let's see what but Tony does. Just give him the maximum kicker with his kings and sixes. And he might may call this, and he does. He's going to see the bad news. Full house by Leon. That's a 45,000 euro pot. Leon takes down. Good session here for Leon. Tony just calls. Most likely he's just confused by Leon's strange line. I guess he put him on missed clubs. Or maybe counterfeit to pair in order to make this call. I actually don't like it. I would have made an exploitive fold. My reasoning is that I don't see Leon bluffing on the river with this tiny sizing. I would have thought if he tries to bluff, he would put his remaining stack in. But I have to admit that it is super hard in Tony's shoes to find the fold. As he is stuck a ton and also is getting offered a really good price on the river. He just has to pay 8k in order to win 45k. So he only has to be right 18% of the time to make this a profitable call. Tony also played a lot with Leon in the past. And maybe he had the read that this can be a bluff. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and or subscribe. Bye.